Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be testing out the new Makeup Revolution Fast Phase Foundation. So this is what the foundation looks like here and as you can see it's a stick foundation. So this I'm really really excited about and I love the packaging. It's very kind of simple and classic. Um, I love the rose gold writing on it there and the little rose gold um, metal band around the middle there. Really really pretty packaging. So there's 18 shades available in the range and it claims to be a fast base foundation that you can use for contouring and also highlighting your complexion and also says that it will give you a fresh and dewy finish. So yeah, I have the shades F8 and F3 to try out today. So yeah, if you want to see how this foundation wears and my thoughts on it, then let's just get started. Okay, so like I said, I have the shade F8 and F3 to try out. And this is what they look like inside. So this is F8 and that's what it looks like they are absolutely love the packaging i think it's so so pretty so this shade i'm going to use is my all over kind of base shade and then i'm going to use f3 which is a little bit lighter well a lot lighter actually that's what it looks like there i'm going to use that to sort of like um kind of highlight the center parts of my face so yeah that's what i'm going to do with that now i'm just going to start applying f8 to my face so super creamy like super super creamy I'm just going to do it on one side first just to see um, the difference. Like that was so creamy to apply. So yeah, I'm just going to blend in using my Morphe Y7 brush. This is a kind of round, not round, a dome buffer brush that I use all the time to blend in my foundation. I absolutely love it. It gives me a really kind of flawless finish to um, my face as well. So yeah, I'm just going to use this. blending in really really nicely it's very creamy it's blending absolutely beautiful like yeah it's just super creamy so it does look dewy just now but I've got a feeling that I might try a little bit more kind of matte on my skin but I'm really loving like how it's looking the coverage is great like it's not emphasizing any of like my texture like I have like a good bit of texture just around my cheeks and it's not emphasizing it it's actually looking really really nice I'm just going to do this side now Okay, so that's me blended up on both sides and I'm really 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 loving how this is looking I think it looks absolutely gorgeous it is more going to need medium coverage like it's not full coverage um, at all but like I'm really loving how it's looking I think it looks gorgeous so now I'm going to get in with the shade F3 which is my lighter shade and I'm going to just sort of like um apply it in like my under eye area to sort of cover this little red bit that's just peeking through. I'm also going to put a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my chin as well. I'm not going to apply too much of this actually because I really do love the the actual shade of um, F8 on my skin so yeah I'm just going to blend this in using my Morphe E8 brush it's like my little concealer brush I like to use so I'm just going to tap that in so this is just like highlighting the centre part of my face kind of like what I do with a concealer um, so yeah that's really pretty it's blending in really nicely And then what I'm just going to do is take my foundation brush and just tap here just to make sure that melts in nicely with the foundation shade. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Like, that's so pretty. So can you see this just brightens up my kind of under eye area, gives a little bit more dimension to my face. I can't get over how creamy these are, they are literally gorgeous, like the formula is just so spot on. 
So I don't think there's any need for concealer now. Like I was actually going to apply a little bit of concealer to kind of um, highlight my kind of under eye area. And the concealer I was going to use is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Like I absolutely love this concealer. That's what it looks like um, there. Um, I'm totally out of this one that I have. So I actually got another one um, there. This is the shade C7. I absolutely love this. It's amazing for brightening, um, concealing, brightening and weakening the under eye area. It's gorgeous. But I don't feel like there's any need for that because that um, F3 shade really kind of concealed and highlighted my under eye area as you can see. I think that's me done for my base. Now what I'm going to do is just apply um, all the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and tell you an update on how the foundation is looking. So guys, I'm back and I've applied all the rest of my makeup. And right now I'm absolutely loving how it's looking. You know, it's kept its dewy finish because I thought it was going to dry down a little bit more matte on my skin, but it hasn't. So yeah, right now I'm really loving how it is looking. Um, now I haven't set my face down with any um, translucent powder or anything like that. I've just applied a little bit in, uh, of powder just on my under eye area, like the teeniest amount of powder, just so that that lightest shade, the F3 shade, would increase under my eye area there and I just used the lightest shade from the Kat Von D shade and light palette to do that and then I just applied the rest of my makeup so for contour I'm using the middle shade from the Kat Von D shade and light palette um, for bronzer I'm using a little bit of the NARS Laguna just sort of like in this area here so that's NARS Laguna there I love that for giving a nice kind of warm glow to my cheeks and then for blush I'm using this gorgeous new blush from Shantikai. This is their um, philanthropy, or philanthropy um, cheek colours and this is the shade Sea Turtle which is absolutely stunning so that's what it looks like there. It has like a little um, turtle in it if you can see that there. So yeah, I'm really loving this. It's got a gorgeous kind of um, rosy peach um, colour to it. Just has a lovely flush to my cheeks. So loving that. I've got that on my cheeks. And then for highlight, I've got a teeny bit just on the high points of my cheekbones there. And again, I'm using the Shantikai product. This is their new... Oh my god, what's this called again? I forget. I'll put it on the screen here. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlighting powder. Like, that's what it looks like there. As you can see, it has um, gold and, like, sort of pink. So, if you mix it, I mix them two together and put it on my cheekbones. And it gives a gorgeous, gorgeous um, shade and highlight to my cheekbones. So, yeah. Got a little bit of that one. I absolutely love this. It's gorgeous. So, yeah, that's what I've got on my face. And, yeah, everything's looking gorgeous um, with the foundation right now. Um, it has a really gorgeous, dewy kind of glowy look to it which I'm absolutely loving so yeah oh and in case you're wondering on my lips I have the Dosa Colors Truffle lipstick and that's what it looks like there it's like a nudie brown color but I actually have a little bit of the Skin Chemist the Skin Chemist Rose Quartz Youth Defense Lip Plumper underneath and I like to use this underneath um, now because it like obviously it plumps up my lips slightly and also it gives my lips a little bit more of a kind of like a moisturising feel so when I put the Dosa Colours Truffle on top it just feels a lot more hydrating on the lips because I will say this is quite drying on the lips so I like to put a little bit of this underneath it just keeps everything um, moisturised and un uh, underneath and yeah so I'm really impressed with the foundation right now like it blended so quickly like I didn't uh, think it was going to blend so fast like of course it's called like the fast um, base um, foundation but I didn't actually think it was going to blend like that fast and um, the formula is like so so creamy I've actually swatched them on the back of my hand for you just in case you want to see the swatches and um, better so this is F8 this is the shade that I have got all over my face so that's the shade there my hands are a little bit white just now compared to my face I don't have any tan um, on the rest of my body but love that that's like the perfect um, foundation shade for my skin like because I like to look a little bit more tanned, obviously. So um, the other shade um, is F3, which is a lighter shade that I use to highlight my kind of um, centre portion of my face. So that is F3 there. Super, super creamy. So yeah, that is it for this part of the video. Like, I will try and... Um, check in again later on but if I don't I will leave a little update in the description box for you but I will try to um, squeeze a little update in but 
yeah so far I'm really really loving the foundation I think it's gorgeous so just in case I don't get my little check in I will just round up this video just now and say thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you liked and enjoyed it if you did like it then give the video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section if you have tried this foundation yet how you think it looks and yeah that would be amazing I would love to know your thoughts on it and remember to subscribe to my channel if you are brand new and I will speak to you very soon in my next video bye so guys just doing a little check in so we are at um half past five so that's been one two three four four and a half hours it's been since I first applied it so this is how we're looking and it's actually looking really really nice like it's it still has that really gorgeous kind of dewy finish to it and um, it's held up it's doing it really really well and um, and even though it's pretty dewy like it hasn't broke up it hasn't separated it doesn't make me look um like really greasy or anything it just gives a really gorgeous kind of glow to my skin like we're only at four and a half hours later which is not really a long time for foundation like you're obviously wanting the foundation to last a lot longer than that but just uh, at this check-in right now four and a half hours later like it literally looks so so nice Um, I haven't seen it like breaking up or clinging to any areas or um or anything like that it just looks really really nice like I've been looking up close actually at my under eye area you know where I applied that kind of lighter foundation shade um, and I set it with a tiny, a tiny bit of powder and it's actually looking really really good it hasn't like caked up or anything like that like I think my wing liner here is going a bit wonky it's going a bit dark underneath there but that's nothing to do with the foundation I don't think anyway like it hasn't creased up or anything like that in my under eye area so it's really nice to use for um concealing the under eye as well so yeah really really pretty still loving it like I love the dewy kind of glowiness to it and what I didn't mention earlier on is if you are probably kind of more oily then this foundation might be too glowy too dewy for you it might make you look a little bit like a bit too greasy I don't know but I don't have a um, very kind of oily skin anything like my skin is just kind of like normal combo sometimes a little bit dry sometimes but um mostly it's just kind of like normal kind of combo and yeah that it looks perfect on my skin so I think it doesn't make me look too greasy it just gives a really nice healthy kind of a uh, kind of glow to my face so yeah I don't think it's going to wear off or break up anytime soon like I think it looks so amazing so yeah big thumbs up really love this foundation